Hello, this is an example of a patient who has an AC separation. They have the most severe kind. It's called a grade 3 AC separation. And in this separation, the ligaments that join the clavicle right here to the acromion here are ruptured. And we see widening of this joint. This should be 5 millimeters or less. This is now greater than 1 centimeter. This is called the AEC joint. And this is, again, separated in the clavicle is abnormal in position instead of being close here it's elevated and also there's another ligament complex more medial this is again the clavicle and along the undersurface of the clavicle there's a little dark band here this is part of the corcoclavicular ligament complex and this ligament it's a broad couple of ligament components come down here and they take the clavicle and hold it low in position near the coracoid process so this corcoclavicular ligament complex is completely torn instead of seeing a nice dark band and the clavicle being normal in position this is completely ruptured we see brightness here some fluid and edema and the clavicle is drifted superiorly because this ligament complex is torn so when we have a complete tear of the AC ligaments and a complete tear of the corcoclavicular ligaments we call this a grade 3 um, AC separation and the clavicle is just drifting superiorly nothing's holding it down and so this is one that will need surgery in this patient we see some brightness in the trapezius muscle here the muscle is partially torn or sprained or strained rather and so that is a common finding when you have a severe AC um, ligament uh, injury or AC separation like this this is just another view where fluid is dark we see the end of the clavicle better here we see the coracoid process I'm sorry the uh, chromium process rather and the distance is way too wide. Again, this is over a centimeter. This should be less than five millimeters. If we come over here to this view, we see the coracoid process and clavicle. And again, this distance is very wide and that ligament complex is completely torn. This is another view where we can see that ligament complex, part of it coming across here horizontally, dark. And it's a well-defined tear all the way across. It's ripped like paper through here and widened between this bone and this bone. On x-rays, this is the coracoid process here. This is that clavicle ending here. Again, this distance is way too wide because the clavicle is drifted superiorly. And this is the AC joint here. Again, the clavicle should be down here lower and really close to the acromion process. But again, it's widened and the clavicle is elevated. Now, this is another patient that does not have an AC separation just to show some relatively normal anatomy. Again, this is the clavicle, much lower in position. The acromion process, and we see these bands of darkness here. This is the corcoclavicular ligament complex intact, coming down here, bridging these two bones. And over here is the AC joint. You can see the clavicle and acromion are really close together. No separation. There's lots of uh, joint space narrowing here, just the opposite. Too close together with irregularity of the cortex and spurring. So this is some arthritis, but again, no AC separation. So the grade three one we saw before was a rupture of this coracoclavicular ligament complex and AC ligaments. And a grade two injury, which is not as bad, is when the patients have this one intact, but the AC ligament is completely torn. Again, the clavicle will still be in normal in position because this is held down by the coracoclavicular ligament. But these ligaments are torn, that's a grade two. And the grade one is just when we have a partial tear, injury, and laxity of these AC ligaments, not completely torn. And again, this one is normal. So you can have a grade one, grade two, or grade three. Now we'll end here on our grade three AC separation where we have widening of the AC joints and some fluid, elevation of the clavicle, disruption of the AC ligaments, and again, this complete tear of the corcoclavicular ligament complex.